Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. When the last couple of videos we've been showing you this full width YouTube video background with text overlay and on this particular one we've got the controls hidden and it's looping and it's muted. I've just paused it there. Some people are getting a problem though with the loop command not working on certain browsers and I've just checked it out on a couple of different browsers and I've, I see what they're talking about. There's a pretty easy fix to make this work so if you're having this problem just follow along this can be a very quick video. Let's go into this page here. I'll get rid of that. We built all this with a Divi code module. I'm not going to do the text overlay and link. Uh, if you want to learn how to do that, I'll put it in the video description below, a link to it. So I've got a video here, and if, in case you don't know how to embed a YouTube video, just go to the video, hit the share button, you'll find a little embed code there. Now you can decide whether or not to show player controls and privacy enhanced mode here. Um, I'm going to leave mine just as it is for expediency today. I'm going to take that. Control C to copy. Let's go back to our page here with our code module. We'll just paste it in there. And there's a video. It's just a regular video and you have to manually start and stop it. So we want it to autoplay. So we're going to go back to the end of the actual ID of the video itself. There's the YouTube embed forward slash and then it's the ID of the video right after the E in this particular case of the ID. We're going to put a question mark. Make sure you put it before those inverted commas there. And we're going to say loop equals one. So it'll go round and round. And of course, we want to make it autoplay if it's going to do that. And we'll say ampersand or the and symbol. You can say autoplay equals one. Now we don't want any sound. So let's add ampersand or and again. Mute. As you can hear, it's coming in there equals one so now it'll come in it'll be muted but you'd think this would go along the video and when it gets to the end it would start it again so if i roll it to the end of the video here nothing it's actually stopped and that's the some problem some people were getting now to get over that we just need to add one more line of code to kind of fool it a little bit so we're going to hit the ampersand again, or the and symbol. We're going to write playlist equals. And then just after the equals and before the inverted commas there, I'm going to copy that same ID one more time of the individual video. Now we don't want that question mark there because we added that ourselves. So let's copy this, control C, paste it in there, and we'll get rid of that question mark at the end there. Okay, now our video is auto playing. It's muted. Let's get it up to the end. Kind of dark at the end, this one. But there we are. It's looped. It started all over again. So if you're having that problem, uh, trying to auto play a YouTube video, just add that at the end. Ampersand playlist equals and the same ID as the video that you're embedding up there. For a single video, obviously, if you wanted to play the playlist, put the regular playlist ID in there. So, I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.